Are you gonna are you gonna do anything with your job? Are you just gonna fix your busted? internet? Fix your internet. That sounds like a very simple thing to do. Yeah. Ten seconds. I remaining. would actually say maybe don't give vengeful spirit to um yep. to Navi. Team could, back. Like kind of right up their alley. Uh, I can't ban. remember what the bans were and what you would be giving up in return. Virtus Pro but... banned. Uh they all they, they seem to ban Winter Wiper and Tiny and Beastmaster and all the games that we've seen them play today. And they also banned out Queen of Pain, Viper, and Enchantress last. By the way, Lumi walking off is not because he's unhappy Ten with the situation. Remaining. He's more that he's anxious to get into the war room because it is time for game Five number two. We have a draft. Remaining. And uh, once again, Beastmaster is banned, but Winter Wyvern was the one they normally banned out first. So maybe they want to get their hands on it. But keep in mind... The original Winter Wyvern player is Tomeko, and he's on the set of Na'Vi. So uh, it looks like Na'Vi bad. does have first pick, uh, or does it? No. No, 3P has first pick. So if they don't ban out the Winter Wyvern here, then uh, they can maybe get their hands on it themselves. Any other notable heroes? Uh, we have a Bane Ten as well as a Shadow Demon remaining. ban on the side of Na'Vi. Five I'm not sure if they're remaining. super notable. We saw we saw Bane getting banned before as well, and uh, Shadow Demon has been banned against Bane's Navi, apart from the bad. one game oh. where they played it off lane and they lost. They're afraid of that core Shadow Demon, man. Mm -hmm. Proved its worth by losing a game. And I believe that's a Wyvern last ban on the side of uh, Navi? Yep. Okay. And uh, Clockwork on the other side. All right. Ten seconds remaining. All right, so all the bands are done. First Five pick goes to Virtus Pro remaining. with the Winter Wyvern removed by Navi. Radiant PP cannot take that one first Earthspirit. anymore. Oh, but they, they go take for the Earthspirit, Earthspirit instead. over Night Stalker. First band or first pick. Do you agree with that? Uh, I think it's probably just our preference at this point in time. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, I do feel Night Stalker is a little bit better as a four position Five in seconds remaining. the games that I've watched. But if you have a really good Earth Spirit, go with the Earth Spirit. Just feel comfortable if it fits your play style. Because one of the big things is Earth Spirit does start team fight. One of He's the... a much better initiator. Yeah. Um, I also think that Earth, Earth Spirit is more explosive early on, but also at the same time, much risky. Because when Night Soccer is coming for a gang, you're generally guaranteed to know what you're either getting a kill or not. Your spirit kind of rolled the dice, you know. Is he going to hit that roll? Or are they going to juke it? Stuff like that is going to happen. Radiant team pick. Wow, they took a very long time to think about that. It's an undying in the end. And Avenge. So they do get their hands on the Avenge again. Oh my goodness, this is a very <clears throat> scary lane. Radiant if they, they do lane together, which there's a good chance they will. I think, yeah, uh, this is, this is kind of nice. I like what Liquid's doing here. Or, excuse me, Virtus Pro. Um, they're taking mm -hmm. a, a page out of the Liquid playbook and saying, well, if they're going to teamfight us so much, like, why don't we just pick up one of the ultimate teamfighting heroes um, in this offlane Omni Knight? I think he's one of the most successful offlaners right now, and he's... I, I think pretty much guaranteed to be banned in the four or five, um, in this matchup specifically because Omni Knight does swing things so dramatically. I would even say Gyrocopter would be a nice pickup for EP. Why? It's another good team fighting hero, and I think it makes pretty liberal use of <clears throat> the Omni Knight, and mm -hmm. it deals with the undying tombstone. You can, if you're repelled, pop black cannon, seconds, target remaining. the tombstone. You'll still get damage out, but you'll also deal with that big team. Five seconds. That makes remaining. sense. Makes sense. Well, they ban out the razor themselves. Why would they do that? What's the what would be the synergy for Navi's razor lineup, or is that something that they might be banning out because of something they want to pick up later on? Maybe they want life stealer, <clears throat> life stealer, <clears throat> spirit combo. Yeah. Uh, that's usually Radiant the number pick. one uh, razor. One of the number one reasons why you pick razor. Good counter. And uh, life stealer is a great tombstone killer as well. Should sure. you just explain that for the gyrocopter is important. Yeah, absolutely. Same thing for the life stealer then. And uh, we have a broodmother and a phantom lancer ban Ten by Navi. Remaining. 
They take out Phantom Lancer. Phantom that's a, Lancer. Yeah, that's a Five weird one. What could that mean? Maybe they're um Maybe they're gonna focus pretty heavily single target. They don't have any clear to deal with PL right now in your four position or your safe laner, so um and if they plan on picking Fury on, then yeah, they really wouldn't have any clear whatsoever. They just brought a previous game, had not did not have a great game at all. I think Pasha ended ended at like zero seven or I think Navi should pivot now. I don't think they should um, take this Vengeful Spirit fight focus against VP, against Omni Knight and Dazzle. I think they should try and get the better late game um, in like Ten Dusa. Maybe not Dusa now. You leave yourself open Five to the AM. Remaining. But later but... In, la in the last pick? Last pick is going to Navi. So they could do that later on. Omni Knight Dazzle. It was like all the heals. I guess we're going to see some, uh, what is it, Soul Vessels? Yeah, Soul Vessel. Good counter. You don't even need to pick the AA anymore. No. AA is just replaced by an item. <laughs> How does that feel? I mean, AA is still picked a lot. So it's true. It's I'm true. not sure if that's entirely <laughs> true, but it's good that people have options now. Yeah. That is true. It would be a good AA game for Navi too, mm. if only they had some more disables. Hey, there's oh, the AA. God. They're doing well. the no disable between two support strat. Is this mid AA? <sighs> or is this offlane dying? Um, or Corvenge? I think it. I think we're still on Corvenge. Corvenge? I don't know. It's kind of bad. Safe lane profit. Yeah. Yeah. Run an aggressive trailer with those three. Remaining. Pick your deadly hero last. It could work. Five seconds remaining. You, you don't like it. Mm. I mean, on paper, it's Kofi plus Magic Missile, Decay on top, you get the kill. Pretty yeah. much guaranteed. Well, so, not guaranteed. Oh, you want because... for Navi? Is that what you're saying? Team no, no, no. Oh, sorry. Magic Weaver. Missile. Sorry. Yeah, Magic Missile. Omni Missile. My bad. Weaver. Well, Weaver Omni Knight. It... Oh, Ancient Apparition is now food because you have no disables to deal with him. He's not going to eat that popsicle up. You got the Vengeance Sable, and you Ten really gotta hope that the Nature's Prophet has an Orchid online very early. Alright, you're either gonna get Five like a big time remaining. force the push hero from Navi, or you're <clears> gonna get the. You're still thinking to do second fit? I don't know. <laughs> you don't I, like it? I don't know what. Uh, I mean. Turn to it's, ban. Just... it's a storm ban. What's a big time like? like all the mids that I can think of right now, say they pick up a puck, right? And there's like, boom, okay, now we've got really solid initiation and lockdown to set up Ancient Apparition and Tombstone. Well, then you don't have the greatest high ground. Well, Virgil's Pro still thought it was a threat because they ban out the puck. Maybe I'm underrating Venge when it comes to. 10 seconds remaining. I'm probably, yeah. She's very good at pushing when Heroes are dead, Five which is kind of what the. Remaining. I think Navi's going for, right? Kill all the heroes? Yeah. Well. And Roshan is an important part of this game. Navi would just take Roshan. Yeah, they got great minus armor. Dazzle has some minus armor as well. Weaver, actually, as well. Not too bad. So, what, we need a no one hero for VP? Because they go first. I think you play safe again. Yeah, something very beefy, very tanky. Dragonite. Is it Dragonite example. again? Yeah, I love Dragonite. We, we don't see it enough, I think. I don't like yeah. it versus Ancient Avenue. Yeah. Queen of Pain. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Gonna be taking the mobility side of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's their only initiation. I guess Earth Spirit a little bit as well. What are we thinking about VP's lineup? Ten seconds remaining. They better get a good, good Queen counter. How does uh, Ember sound? You get zero high ground push, which is just the concern here, but I feel like you need a mid that gives you a ton of lockdown against both Weaver as well as Queen. Hmm. Yeah, I can't think of a better disabling mid for you. You definitely do need to, like, it's so awkward to leave your mid mm -hmm. uh, last and have a big hole in your draft that you have to... Can you draw here? Is that crazy? Draw mid? We saw... 
believe it was Secret that did that. Was that mid? No, they did Safeling with Gyro mid. Yeah. But Gus is like pretty decent against this whole squad. By the way, um, we are waiting. Uh, to deal with. Uh, the, the game is paused at the moment. The draft is paused because Suneko disconnected. So in case you're thinking that the overlay dun, busted dun, up, dun. it didn't. It's just that we're waiting for uh, Suneko to go back. Oh, good, Lumi. It's a good time for us as analysts to go through all the heroes. Sure. Except the one that's actually going to get picked. Or uh, talk about possible self-disconnecting to get more time to think. <laughs> Maybe, you know. You know what it actually is a really good time for. Yeah. And I've been looking at this the whole time because this is a change from yesterday and all the other days at Dream League. Um, this is the first day that they actually connected the monitor that is standing right in front of us. And the back has all these funky colors circling through it the whole time. Haven't you been distracted by that? Oh, yeah, I have been looking at that. The crane camera is struggling to get in position for yeah, it. Yeah, let's see if the wait crane camera fits up Wait for the shot. The, it's coming. The colors. Can I see the colors? Good sell out time, Shiver. <laughs> oh, baby. Now that is a PG 27 VQ. A 27 inch gaming monitor. 165 hertz fresh rate. And 2560 times 1440 resolution. Oh my. That's a pretty monitor. We're still waiting for the reconnect, by the way. <laughs> Need a <clears throat> list of heroes. Having fun I, there, I got Louis? them here. List of heroes. <laughs> All right, Louis. I'll see you in the war room. Let me go through each one of those. those uh, oh, I hear I'm pausing. Lax? Uh, I'm oh, pausing. Did training. indeed. Occur. What a great segue we had in between. So we're waiting for the last hero. Now, during this pause, even if Suneko might have been disconnected, I'm sure that the team or he have, has probably thought through all their options. You know, you got extra time and stuff. Maybe Death Prophet, it gives them the high ground and yeah. sort of a little bit of disable. Silence is quite good against all of these heroes. Yeah. It could work out. Look, this final pick has to be like... It has to be got here. Yes. It has to do a lot of things. The glue. But at the same time, it has to dissolve the glue from Virgis Pro. I know what it is. It's Dark Willow. Oh. Dark, Dark Willow does Willow neither of those things. Dope. Can high ground. Can uh, huh? Okay, well. This is mid AA. Isn't it? Faceless Void. Faceless Void, that's it. I don't know where he's going. I'm gonna put mid AA. Wow. Mid AA. Wait, you were right. Dendi has picked up the Ancient Deparation. Wait, so. And that means Suneko will play the Vengeful Spirit as a support. I don't know. Aren't you just super susceptible to being gone on by Earth Spirit Quap and then later on Weaver? You know, we saw this earlier on in this season, I think. This season of Dream League. And nobody would believe it. I still don't believe it, though. It's very pro that I was. And I was going to have a whole, a whole beautiful story, but then we had to hurry, so I'm picking VP. Two, three VPs. But who knows? They did it before. Can Navi prove us wrong once again? Over to Pixel and Fogged. Thank you very much, Chief. Yes, the final game of the day here. VP versus Na'Vi, and we're ready to go. And indeed, it is the classic, the Na'Vi speciality, Dendi, mid AA. Well, I say Na'Vi, we've seen other teams try it, but let's be honest. You know, Dendi, he, he's the classic one. Backer, what was it? Was TI2? TI1? You remember, Fog, you were around then. What, what was the original? TI, TI1, right, when Dendi? TI1. It's TI1. There TI1. wasn't many heroes in the pool. It's you were strong. quite limited. You were struggle. You were quite limited. For mid. He did it in Dota 1, though, as well. Yeah. Back oh, in Dota okay. 1, he used to play it all the time in the mid lane. Back when the hero was, of course, a little bit different. The interaction with Cold Feet, Chung Touch also was entirely different. And they are actually looking for first blood. He skills up Chilling Touch. Usually Dendi gets Cold Feet at level 1. Okay. A bit of a change, yep. For the I mean, mid lane. The chilling Touch obviously uh, did change how it works a little bit with that. Attack speed loss no longer being there. A little yeah. less of a punch, but still very, very good for, for a level 1 Less of a punch, play. and it adds it slows for 0.3. Oh, yeah, it does, well. yeah, it does do that little bit of slow. And they're looking for Pasha here. 
We've got the stun. Seneco can oh, close the gap. Oh, he can skill repel. Yep, and he he's will. got a skill just in case. He's got to. And he's 305 movement speed. Bench only 299. And they can't chase that. Nope. Can't catch it. No one on the high ground as well. They will claim themselves the bounty rune. The but now begins. BP steps in. They're going to claim the opposing one. No one. Oh, well, skills blink. Jumps on the high ground. Hey, that's, that's three smart. for BP. Three bounties. So the mid AA. He can get very punished by Queen of Pain and Urspur rotations. Oh, so he can it actually doesn't dive. Seem, doesn't seem like an easy lane. No. no, and also the last time we saw the mid AA, it, the mid AA, it was versus, uh, I think it was Timbersaw, Underlord, and Timbersaw. Yeah, so it was Timbersaw, Under, Underlord, and Alchemist cores. So the AA was incredibly good versus all three cores on the line of Secret was when they would picked it uh, in Star Ladder. This time around, it's not really the best versus the three cores on the side of VP. It's good versus, of course, versus the Omni and Dazzle, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's gonna we're gonna see how, how it actually ends up working, but I think it's gonna be a little bit different this time. Pasha gets the lane pull. Senego was trying to stop it in the end, as we see the the battle between Roger and the Earth Spirit, but Pasha was able to get that creep wave behind his tower. He denies the range creep, so Pasha and the Omni Knight will be able to get a good chunk of experience in that bottom lane. Roger. Blank. Look to secure a nice easy start for Dendi. And I tell you what, Dendi. Big crush now. I think he was using what the chilling touch to get that CS. He's 7th of 3 yep. against the 1 for 1. Yeah, no one having that blink skilled. Not getting many last hits. The dagger's out, but I think Roger, he will uh, feel more than happy to tank that dagger. Yeah. Have to watch Dendi. Lil's movements around that mid lane. Keep that pressure going. Roger's gonna have to more than likely just sit mid to make sure that Dendi doesn't get rolled and collapsed on. We'll see how this progresses though. He already has the double no, so he will have that damage advantage on Dendi. And they get the D ward on that mid lane, so there's no more high ground vision for no one in mid. And yeah, Dendi, 10 and 3 to the 3 and 2 of the Queen of Pain. Daniel. Lil rolls in, tries to get the bounty. Seneko stuns him though, and Seneko will get the secondary rune as well. And as this is happening, Solo is being chased with the TP. Roger also able to steal the bounty rune from up there as well. So again, they spawn and three. Seneko oh, heals oh, both on. runes and gives him the taunt. I mean, Lil, chased out, Lil might get the kill here. He's going to continue to chase. He's going to have roll again in, in five seconds. He can't go for it. Oh. Too risky. The taunt. No Made one. Up. Getting punished by Dendi. Dendi with the haste rune now. Sony. No one out. No one. Five Get and crushed. three. He's getting decimated. Yeah. Absolutely handled. In this mid lane matchup by Dendi's AA. Sure, there's been a bit of a look in from uh, Roger, yeah. and, and no one hasn't had much help up until now, where we will see Lil going with the roll onto Roger. Roger turning. The call feeds there onto Lil. Is it going to prop? Keeps himself alive with the soul rip. Quick to count to no one to keep the quad back. He's got minus 12 strength, so every single right click does that much more damage onto no one at the no, moment. Roger's been playing this matchup very nicely, coming in and, and just drawing the entirety of the attention away from Dendi. All yeah. three lanes going yeah. very smoothly for Navi at the moment. Although it's 0 0, they already have claimed themselves a 1k experience and 1k gold advantage. Dendi now getting rolled on, he connects. Oh, here we go. Ooh, no one has to back. blink away. And with the distance, you know, no one's had to blink away to. Dendi, he's going to be fine. No one can't stick around and apply any sort of follow-up damage, so the AA survives. And he's cool to stay. He's going to have to go back to base. Okay. Yeah, he can't He ah. can't risk it versus Queen of Pain or Spirit. Yeah, he did have the... He had a few one charges, but yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's it. Best to play it safe. And he does give the free lane to, to Roger. Gets him some level on the undying. Yeah, this is where... This is what we would normally expect to see like AA walks up you get rolled on you get shadow strike it's it's very tough for you to actually do anything but he is doing incredibly well on the last it's because of Roger sitting in that mid lane good start for Nami it's complete for, uh, top lane nature's profit yeah you know. he's doing great he's getting uh, gone on rather aggressively here the Ramsey's so have to be careful because Seneco's dead. In fact, Ramsey's he's just trapped up by the creeps. He's got one more Shikuchi trying to get himself out of there. In fact, always oh, he was thinking about turning and going back in for general. A little low. Stella will heal him up. Did, I, did Seneco get stuck inside of a creep wave there? Because he looked like he was trying to close the gap on Ramsey's, but he couldn't. 
to get the stun or any type of the extra damage. I guess so, yeah, because as you say, it was very close. He was rotating from above, and then he just started attacking the uh, the Scarab. And now Seneko in some trouble here, getting dove by the Weaver. Yeah. By Dazzle. General's had to TP out. And indeed, with that, Seneko's been left alone. General will come back in, but the first bug goes to Ramsey. General at least finds the kill and return onto Solo. And in the mid lane? Okay. To mid lane, no one. No one got burst. Is Solo killed? No, he got he got oh, Roger killed by there. Roger, okay. and I guess maybe the bonus damage from the Solar just caught him off guard with the level two decay. Maybe under Ice Vortex as well. I didn't actually catch that when I was looking for top to the the dive. Bit of mistakes coming out. No one. Twenty five fifteen on Dendi, thirteen nine for the Queen of Pain. Nice. I was gonna say, just this one point in the chilling touch just seems to be really nice for yeah. those guaranteed CSs and denies as we've seen. Yeah, and Roger just, you know, Roger's sitting yeah. in the mid lane. And the fact there's a big, yeah, scary zombie man. Yeah, it makes it a lot harder for no one to actually bully out Dendi because he can use his holder defensively, offensively, top, general. Goes down. Bomb and, and bottom as well. We have kills all over the place. They're making our poor observers suffer. I was gonna say, every time someone dies somewhere, Someone dies somewhere else. Then he's got level five. No one's only level four now. And Roger gets a haste rune and he runs directly at no one again. No one. Dropping dangerous low. And now the TP from General. Oh, with the wrap around, no one's gone. He accepts, accepts his fate. fate. He no knows one. that there's no way out of that. They they went four mid on him. Yeah. They are really trying to make sure that Dendi has a good start here. And they're doing so. They're doing a very good job at it. Solo and Lil. Now VP, yeah, positioned on that high ground. They want to be able to try to get that kill back. No one, I mean, no one needs kills to get back in this lane. He does not have a TP even to TP back out. So, Dendi will get level 6 while that Queen of Pain is still level 4. And they can start threatening because they have Chronosphere at the ready with Crystallize. So they can set up for those kills. And Crystallize has queued up a Battle Fury. So he's looking for that farm. They want to go for the late game. Seems to be a new, like a new build on the majority of the melee characters as we've seen. Let's get that B Fury up. In the middle. I mean, as you say, you know that no one needs help, but he, he's he's not really getting it at all. We saw Lil and Solo sort of hang around, but that was when no one was dead. I mean, now it's he's got a damage disadvantage, yeah. he's got a level disadvantage, and there's still just two sitting mid. He can't actually do much here. Once Dendi has that level 6, no one has to be careful. One, one missed blink. Look, look at that. He's just... I mean, it's 3 decay stacked up. with the clarity running on Roger. They've Both got high feet. ground vision as well. Zones him. Everything, when you have that yeah. many stacks of decay, everything just does more damage to you because your health pool is lower. Oh, here's the help that he needs. Lil and Solo coming in. They're looking to try and offer something. But uh, Nature's Wrath and decay from Roger comes through. And now Lil and Solo, they've got to back up. Solo pops the grave. Goes for the TP out. And he will make it. But uh, as we're seeing, VP massively struggling when it comes to actually trying to, to sort of swing around the momentum of this mid lane. I thought Dendi was going to wand and uh, throw the ultimate there on top of the TP and Dazzle, but actually didn't even go for it. Pasha has shown up to the fray. He is sitting near the mid lane too. So no one, they have to try to catch him back up by with some kills. It's just absolutely needed. I, the A blast was thrown somewhere. It was hunting and now mid. Asha with an invis on Lil. They are looking to try to catch out Dendi, but the ward, I believe, spotted out Pasha for a moment. Playing a bit more defensively. Roger steps up. No one commits. Solo gets killed by Crystallize. Yeah, Crystallize. There was his fighting Solo. Did he need the Krona? Just ran down the Dazzle. The bash is off in the mid lane, Roger. Will lose his life, Crystallize. He's got the Chrono. He's, He's looking done. for an opportunity. Find it. Drops it down onto the Omni Knight. Takes him out. They've got the Magic Missile onto no one. Ice Blast. Not going to connect there. As the Blink was back up. Man, VP really starting to... Uh, not doing well here. It's pretty much just Ramsey's just having a great time farming. Pasha suffering. Yeah. Not. I mean, we've said enough about no one's having in a mid lane again. Just and gets... They still get... I mean, he looked like he was out First? of there, no one, but he hangs around. The Ice Vortex plus Nature's Prophet Ultimate. On top, they're looking up General. They've got the Silence. Ramses is falling very low, though. He's out of one charges as well. Ramses has got to be careful. One oh more touch would do. Ooh, he's lucky there wasn't a sentry down there. He'll come back in. 
Look towards General, should get it with the bug. Oh, oh, General lives 20 HP, and now solo oh, bottom. Lil, Lil's looking for the cleanup, and Lil will get it. Lil gets him. Cost him his life, though. And as you say, elsewhere, Ramses did go down. Oh, Dendi got the ice bar. Dendi got him. No, he got him with oh, an auto attack. Oh, okay. And bottom solo is getting chased. It's a bloodbath. What the heck is going on? There's, This kills everyone. Now Pasha. Looks for Roger. Oh. Finds him. Easy peasy. Crystallize has to get out of there. Pasha looking for the run down. Crystallize should be fine. Yeah, nine to six, ten minutes in. And these kills happening everywhere. And for a majority of reason, there's... It's just getting crazy, this game. Overall, Na'Vi. Oh, bottom. Ooh. Oh. They actually catch him with the Lil rolls in, gets the stun silence and Pasha heal bomb. Poor observer. I'm so sorry. This is just there's just kills everywhere. General back in on this top. Too line. hard to keep track. It's too much going on. Very hectic indeed. They'll go for the smoke up. It's under the ward, so RV are aware of this. Dendi has the Midas complete. Ten minutes in for this mid AA. Yeah, great timing. The Talents on AA are pretty nice now, too. They've changed a little bit. Spell Lamp at 10 is very high, 10%. As a core, he'll probably take that one over the GPM because 60 is quite low. No one. Careful. He does see Seneca with the ward there. Level 7 now in the quad. They need Ramses pretty much to bail them out. Ramses and Pasha to bail no one out of this bad situation. No one is just still really suffering. Gonna be almost getting caught up here by Lil on the Earth Spirit. Chrono is ready. Navi's hunting. No one would be a good kill. They can get that Chrono. Just let's have to get it straight out. He will. No one just doesn't get a chance to react there. Everything. Coming in on the clock. Up top, General. We're gonna take him down as little and Ramsey's do move in. The TP's coming through. Solo and Ramsey's trying to go for more. They're looking towards Snaker. Snaker backing up towards the tower. Roger comes in with the tombstone. Snaker getting chased down. Will be taken out by Ramsey's who has the time lapse. Heads back over Roger. Will get the deny on the tombstone. Ramsey's in solo. They're looking for more. Roger trying to taunt his way out of this one. Pops the stick charges. Thorup as well, but it's not gonna be enough. VP find a third on this top lane. Solo with the grave. Cold Feet does kick in, the creeps hammering into him, they'll lose the Dazzle. A look at this aggression for VP, Dendi being gone upon, Dendi will fall, Ramsey's still alive. He's been involved in so many of these kills, can they punish this man? Yes they can, they will get the kills, Na'Vi. But it's getting very messy, that is the Diffusal Blade complete on Weaver, with those large amount of kills that Ramsey's managed to get involved in up top. Things getting a... Uh... A little crazy, and, and the Weaver certainly stepping it up. Ramsey's is definitely doing, as you say, that uh, VP needed. They need him to have a big impact, and having a Diffusal Blade at this time will certainly allow that. It's a yep. lot, lot of damage. He's got the Mana Break talent, too, so it is a substantial amount that will be being hitting for Industrial Hit. Bottom, Sineko. This is how you can get no one back in. He's getting him a nice kill. Don't take it, little. Thank you. No one's probably, no one is probably like, I need this. Don't take this from me. And he's got the Veil finished up now on the Queen of Pain. So catching up still. Not quite there just yet, but yeah, as we see on the replay. Roger, Jukin and Jivin. Then he's going to be going for the Rush 4 staff. Okay. Need some kind of saving mechanic for himself. Because they do have ways to close the gap quite nicely on the side of VP. With the Earth Spirit, with the Queen of Pain and Weaver. He has to still be careful getting bursted. They have eyes on Crystallize here. Can they combo him down? That's the question. Ramsey's up on the high ground with the vision, trying to look for the setup, but Lil does find the connection with the roll. They get the silence, they're moving in deep. They've got good burst for no one. Swaps there for Snaker, but it doesn't matter. Sonic Wave flies out from no one. They take down Crystallize. Ramsey's chases forward for more, and they'll take a second. Snaker falls. Roger's down here on his own. He has to be careful. There's four members of VP and VP. They're ready to chase down and find themselves another. Roger's surrounded. He's taken down. VP turning up the aggression. Ramsey's just going absolutely ham on this Weaver across the map. Move it around. There. That catches no one up so much. Getting the kill with the Sonic Wave. Getting involved in all those as well. He's now level 10. He has caught up to Dendi in that department. Still about a thousand gold behind, but that's a great way to get him back in the game. Ramsey's with this quick defusal blade purchase, not going boots or anything. I really like the decision here. The mana burn is going to be really significant versus Void in the upcoming fights. 
with that mana break talent on top. Solo level seven, a little level eight. Pasha now going at drums, so he can, he's going the early yeah. game items to make sure that his team can go for these fights, and they're grouping up. They are their surrounding mid, and I think, ooh, with the ice blast. Okay, no one does get the blink off. Repel is there. That was to save him, and now Dendi's the one in trouble. GA comes out from VP. They're trying to move in onto Dendi solo. Gets the grave out in time. They've lost Roger on Navi. Dendi trying to retreat. Ramses, can he get anyone off the back of this? What's the Shikuchi is surging. Oh, no one jumps in. He's found the kill. He he will pay with his life, but it sets up for success for Rams as he cleans up another. The silence is there onto Crystallize. The mana break bringing him down low. Look how much, do, do, see how much mana burn yeah. it is? He it's gets crazy. down to 70 mana so quickly. Courier did get picked off in the back lines from General. But no one, you can see how bloodthirsty he really is. He just commits all the way onto Dendi there to get that kill, even though he pays with his life. And look at the aggressive warding by VP too. They really want to just keep this aggression going with their lineup. Dyer's top tower has fallen. They know there's only like one disable on the side of Navi. Either. Well, you know, two, I guess you could say. The Chronosphere being that one disable and Venge Stun being the other. Navi. Crystallize has Chrono at the ready. They're looking to set up onto Ramses in the top lane. While bottom, also General gets gone on. Jump in with a dagger. And with that run down from Pasha and no one, there's no chance. Stunning wave flies through, no one. Chris flies top, the Chrono comes out, oh, Ramses gets brought down. That's a big kill. That is the bug that's been causing quite a few issues for Na'Vi. Hill, that's mine. Takes it. Just swap back though, it's the magic missile on the cold feet. And that hate screen makes you just save him, and it does. With the stick charges, Lil does still get out of it. And they get themselves bottom tower now. Nobody gets the last hit, but... No one is, yeah, six, only 600 gold now behind Dendi. And Ramses is the big kill, though, that Navi was able to claim in that top lane. Still leading the net worth for 7,300 on him. On the Sweeper. 35 kills, 16 minutes. My favorite type of game. I mean, it's classic CIS, though, to two here, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't expect anything else. Running at each other. Crystallized with the battlefield. Shadow Blade next. I love it. Get that catch. Yeah, nice ancient setup. stack too from his teammates. It is being watched by VP, but they can't make any punishing move. They're just trying to threaten mid because that Chronosphere is on Radiant's cooldown. And they have her spirit attack. ultimate ready, so VP a little bit more ready to fight at the moment than Navi is. And they are going to try to take advantage of that. Oh, Crystallize! Hello! He's going to try and fight this one. Ramses went in for it, but I'll tell you what, Ramses, he's getting swapped back. The pass over's there from the Ice Blast, and he's made a grave error. Yeah, they have two sentries down there. Two quick, quickly placed ones by Seneca. Kid is finished. But General, uh, does but no one have, no one has the Yule Oh, has he got, he's actually got it. Out. Yeah, so he actually has that save mechanic versus that Nature's Prophet. But now that's two back-to-back -back deaths on Ramses, who is having... Yeah. I mean, he was the rock for the team. He's slipping. He's slipping a bit, yeah. And look at this, you know, Crystallize now up there second highest. And as we said, with that Battle Fury build, if they can keep this pace, Na'Vi, the farm is going to be much better for them. And generally he's found a catch with the Orchids straight away. Solo's taken down out of the mid lane. And they can get this push on mid. Yeah. Easy tier one tower for Na'Vi. As things are not looking smooth selling at all for VP. They need this win. They want to sort of keep the, the chance of getting to land in their hands. And Navi gonna take the fight around the Roche pit. They have level 4 tombstone, they've got Chrono at the ready. VP does have everything ready as well, but it's a pretty tough place for them to take the fight. So if you look at the map at Navi's wards, they have sentries and wards everywhere. Yeah. The warden has been absolutely on point. Prepared for the heroes of another if you have. Down. Ramses is looking for the setup. He's going to send the bugs in. They'll see that Roche is low. Can they actually get in, Lil? He's going forward, trying to disrupt this attempt from Navi. Crystallize back in the pit. Really wants to finish it off, and he will. Navi get the Aegis. They pick it up on the Void. Crystallize. Chrono down. Catches two. Turns towards Lil on the Earth Spirit. Will get the one kill. Can he get the second? Pasha getting bashed up instantly, but he finds the chance to purify. Time walk from Crystallize across Ramses. Ramses trying to man up, but the bash is through. Yeah, in time lapse, keeping Ramses alive. Turn towards Roger, and now with no one coming back in, they're able to overwhelm the side of Na'Vi. Despite Crystallize having that Aegis, he has the Shadow Amulet. Do they have detection? I don't think they do. They've got AoE, though. They're clarifying up on no one now, too. He's got the Scream of Pain in a second. Crystallize. He's going to have time, or can he not? I mean, yeah, the Blink's going to be there for no one. Crystallize, he's dead, for sure. He's making them work for it, though. I mean, he is.
Oh, he's got another time warp. <laughs> there we go. No one will have it with this screen. Oh, okay. So that she gets it with a heal bomb. Well, that they, was they, they finally get. very nicely executed there by Lil. Jumping in, catching the multi-hero, silence and stun. And then Dendi gets pushed out of the fight and doesn't really have too much fun mana to walk back in. That's nah. the thing about AA. When you are playing core or support, after you throw your ulti, your job is pretty much done. You throw a couple cold feats and a couple actions, but walking into the side of VP is pretty hard with just right clicks. Here we see that nice double silence by Lil. Spreads the magnetize afterwards too. And Dendi has to run from the fight because of Ramses in general dies so early on. Chrono catches too, but the big important target, Pasha, survives and keeps Ramses healthy to be able to keep fighting. A golden thread. Ramses has queued up the BKB next. Really needs it for that Orchid. General finds him. Oh, he's found the pick off. He's got the Sprout. The Ice Blast means there's no chance for a TP out. Ramsey's down. Very nice catch and setup from General. Yeah. Very, very strong that. And the Ice Blast taking down anyone at this stage of the game. Core is on Navi still. Just a bit ahead of the cores of VP, but the supports on VP are a substantial amount ahead of the supports from Navi because of the wards I think that they've been having to buy. The wards and the sentries being placed everywhere, they do they do end up adding up. Suneko not really having too much money to work with, and the same thing with Roger. I like what Pash is doing as well, he's, he's itemization wise, he's got yeah. the Lotus for his team. They absolutely need it, the way that we've seen General making these sort of pickoffs. I don't know if he's at the ready for Navi. Oh, Ramses isn't up just yet. They really need him to be able to take this fight. Oh, Navi this smoked. Smoke. This could be beautiful if VP overstep the market. We'll see if Navi want to reveal anyone they'll show general, but yeah, the pings came out from Solo. It no, it's good people behind him. Yeah, Solo's actually coming with a wraparound from behind. Crystallized, looking for a target. They've got the silence from Talil. No one jumps forward. VP can't fight this now. They they're, 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 they're split up so awkwardly. They've come into this fight from all angles, and I don't think that's a good thing to do with their lineup. Sure, they're, they're trying their best to not be caught by a five-man chrono. Solo getting ran down here by Crystallize now. Yeah, with the TP in from General, cutting him off. I mean, another successful catch for Na'Vi. If Lil doesn't get, if Lil doesn't get some great spells off, then the fight's just completely over there for VP. He got, he rolled in, dropped his stone, and got orchided up instantly by General. So that high ground vision that Na'Vi had really was paying off there for them. And look at this sort of catch they've got now. Both Shadow Blades on General and Crystallize. So Shadow Blade into Orchid, Shadow Blade into Chronosphere. A lot of things that BP have to be very careful about when coming out on their own. Yeah. bottom tower is under attack. Great catch, indeed. General. Get eyes on anyone past you. Keeping hidden. Navi trees. Still has Chronos here doing all this too. Yeah. Didn't need to use it. BKB next and Shadowblade BKB. That that's exactly what Crystallize needs. He, the damage. It's not really an issue. If he hits the Chrono and they can follow through with an Ice Blast, just an Ice Blast and a Decay, it just has such crushing effect on these heroes. Yeah. Mako, look for the swap. It's the swap silence. Beautifully done. They like the swap is there. Pasha making the plays, buying Solo a second chance. Crystallize still Shadow Bladed up. He's looking for the perfect Chrono. Will jump forward. Does this see an opportunity? So holds on to it for now. Ramses with the BKB turning towards Snakeo. Stole it. Not going to be enough to keep Snakeo alive. As Snakeo will still go down. Crystallize gets the bash off. Oh, he pops the Chrono. He only gets one though. And can he actually get the kill with this? I don't know if he can. Lil's still alive. Purification comes through from Pasha. Navi there crumbling. They'll lose Crystallize as well. Roger's trying to get himself out of here. They did manage to kill Ramses. In fact, the the clap takes down Dazzle. Roger does clean up two with him, but overall it's VP finding the favorable numbers. They take down four, they only lose two. Crystallize only getting that he just chrono did, on one yeah, target. It yeah. wasn't the chrono he was hoping for. Ramses, I think, underestimated how much damage he was gonna take from uh, Ice Blast on, under Ice Vortex and Undying. The uh, Flash Golem amplifying the damage. He had Time Lapse ready, gets hit by Ice Blast and just wasn't able to use it. It was too much damage for him to react to. But yeah, great fight by VP, just jumping in. No one getting a really nice Sonic Wave in the back line, so onto Dendi. And onto General, cleaning up that Nature's Prophet right away. And again, that was Lil able to get the spells off because of the survivability from Pasha. 24 to 27, 51 kills. Only a 1k gold advantage for Navi, and it's now a 5k experience light, uh, 5k experience advantage going for the side of VP. Pretty, and we were only 24 minutes in, ladies. Yes. This is getting crazy. 
build for uh, no one. What's he? He's going to miss it. He's getting the well, just the Shiva's, Shiva's guard. Yeah. yeah, giving some sort of protection if he if he does get caught in that Corona. He's recovered yeah. quite nicely, to be honest. Like he's level 17 to a level 15 AA, and the AA went for the uh, Midas too. So, and this but, AA, you know, this is by no means X. an AA doing bad. You know, Dendi six, two, and twelve on the ancient approach. Bottom He's having a great game, but yeah, yeah. Say, just goes to show how well no one's keeping himself composed despite being put severely behind in the in the landing stage. They really focused on him in this game. Lil's been having like, a really good performance on the Earth Spirit, though. He's really the standout one to set up the fights for his team, as he has to be as the Earth Spirit. Some aggressive wards placed out for VP. They claim themselves a tier two, and now they're looking for another engagement. Chrono is at the ready for Navi. They really need this BKB on Crystallize, though. So he can feel a bit safer and land better. Chrono spears off. Top are under attack. So many trains top. They're punishing this range rack. They are to crystallize in the mid lane. He's found a bit of a catch indeed. Ramsey straight up is just one hero, but it's a big one. Taking the Weaver out of the game. And now with the swap silence on Solo. The Lotus Orbs there from Pasha buying Solo a second chance. GA comes out. Now Navi will be forced back. Ramsey's. Buys back, looking to find the catches. General will be able to get out. They do lose Roger. They didn't get the melee axe, but I think Navi, they're still fine with that one. Oh, sunaiko has been hunted out by the courier. So he should go down as well. 1v1 me, sir. Oh, watch out with that courier, boys. And uh, just taunting him with the courier, and Suneko taunts himself to the grave. So they do lose two, but they did get Ramses to buy back. And if they can do any sort of big play within the next six minutes, as we saw like that, get a Chrono onto him, take him out of the game. Defending 4v5 is not going to be easy for VP. So no. now we can just settle, wait for the Chrono back up, and look to abuse that. That could end up being pretty pretty monumental for, for Na'Vi this game. Yeah, and we've been talking about how Na'Vi doesn't really have the craziest amount of disables just with Venge and Chrono Spear. They actually, they found Dendi here. Yeah, the stun comes Dendi out. Dendi just getting destroyed by the damage from Ramses. He pops. They finish him. So Lil actually went for Orchid, by the way. Okay. Oh, and, um, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, you mean uh, Noah? Oh no, it's Noah. Jesus. These names. Um, yeah. So we were talking about how Navi doesn't have the craziest amount. It's yeah. really dependent on Lil for these fights. He's all their disable on the side of VP. So a lot of the weight. Oh, hurry up! What's that going on? TPs. Three Triple of them. TPs. Time to wrap, boys. They ain't got TPs. Lil's hunting though. Oh, bye. General. Courier sniping. Crystallized bottom. Ramsey's. Inform. Quick time walk away. BKB will be finished. Crystallized now, too. Oh, we got it. Dendi's AA. 8 to 2 in lifetime games. One of his two losses was against Fogged. Hell oh, yeah. You beat the Dendi AA, Fogged. We take those. Thank you, Nox. Is... For once, you're not flaming me. You beat then the AA. I think I was playing mid versus him, what, too. You beat uh, him in a mid? What were you playing? I have, dude, I have no idea, man. Can we get the stats? We need I don't, to I don't want to know. We're we focusing on the game. There's things this more important. This is relevant to the there game. There are things much more important. Crystallize has BKB finished. The seeds of fortune. Suneko with Glimmer Cape now. He's got a save. And Dendi has the Hex finished. After that Midas 4 staff. Yes. There we go. Fog was... You, oh, you support your... Oh, there we go. There's oh, the Oh, there it is. Hell Went yeah. One, okay, ten, five. I did my job. What the hell are you doing, Fog? Here we go. Crystallize comes in. He's got his eyes on the side. We'll jump forward. Oh, Chrono on the bigger target. Finds the patch for Omni Knight. Ice Blast is in. Can he get out of this one? No, he can't. He's hexed up, taken down. BKB popped by Crystallize. He'll turn back towards Ramsey's the time dilation. Kicks in. BKB's out there for Ramsey's. He's manning up on Dendi. Dendi getting saved. With the Glimmer Cape and the Force out, what a play from Na'Vi. They keep Dendi alive. There's four dead on the side of VP. What a fight indeed for Na'Vi. That, everything just went perfect there for them. And now, Ramses is down for 60 seconds. He does not have buyback. They're and General, no I mean, no one's got the Yule Scepter. So he should be fine. And uh, indeed, we'll be able to just run himself away from it, as it were. General misses the Sprout, immediately regrets his decision. Oh. No one clears the Creep Wave out with Sonic Wave. Now he doesn't have it for the fight. That is going to be upcoming in the next 40 seconds or so. Navi, going to press onto the high ground here. Which is not looking good for VP. And that was, I thought, was that the first fight Denny reveals his Hex as well? I think first fight he reveals Hex and yeah. also the reveal of the BKB on Crystallize. Yeah. 
and I believe the Glimmer Cape too, which saved Dendi. Yeah, that save on Dendi was very nice from the teammates. And now Na'Vi, they're pushing down mid. VP are on the verge of losing this series 2-0. And as far as I'm aware, this does indeed put their, their hopes of a land sort of just on the games tomorrow out of their control. Yeah, and it would be Na'Vi would be succeeding into getting to the major if they do win this one. But this guarantees Na'Vi to start the major. I do think so. Oh, shoot. Na'Vi. They're looking really good too here. 8k advantage now. I mean, they're, they're, they're playing. And this game, we've not had any, uh, you know, rebuying, reselling of Orchids. This is through and through. VP playing without any sort of issues. No internet issues this game, of course, as well. And, and Na'Vi are doing it. They are, they're coming out on top. Sure, VP can still turn it around, but it's getting very hard with the lead that Na'Vi's getting and the heroes that they have. This Void is going to be an absolute nightmare at all stages of the game for a Core Weaver and a Core Quat. Yep. Jump forward. The silence. To Roger. Bolder smash it from Lil. Catches out two. They're looking for Roger. Jumped out. Crystallized Chrono. Only catches one. Graves out as well from Solo. Buying time there from him in the Chronos. For the Ice Blast connects onto no one though. No one is down. Ramses gets the chance to time lapse. He's ready for round two. No one's actually going to buy back as well. Wanting to get involved in this fight. Crystallized with the BKB. Chases down Lil. Takes down the Earth Spirit. Jumps forward. Looking for more. They've got the silence onto Ramses. Ramses is down as well. Double kill for Dendi. And Ramsey's again down for a minute. And Roche is up now. Perfect timing for Na'Vi. In they go to the pit. Can VP contest this at all? I don't know if they can. No way. It's much, much too risky for them to even, even try it. And no one had bought back in that one too. This, is... this looks like it might be the end here for VP. One more fight. No one commits in. Oh, he does, but he it, gets the cheese. He does get the cheese, but, he but he's hexed up, and he ain't gonna chance to swallow the cheese as a pig. His Ninety seconds. Trotters can't grab that cheddar. Ninety seconds, no cleanup game now. Oh boy. GG. They just call it. Nah, B, ladies and gentlemen, they take the series 2-0. They do it. VP are down and out. I'm sure the panel will be able to explain, but as far as I'm aware, this means the VPs future is in the hands of the games tomorrow out of their hands and Na'Vi with that win Core AA they you made it work Dendi again AA they, they pull it out at times of need and it absolutely pays off overall though just great teamwork from Na'Vi we saw some some really nice play from Roger as well didn't miss the DKs that's for sure in the mid lane at the start yeah great harassment onto no one and it just 